So today I'm revisiting an old project. I first did these snails back in 2010, so nine years ago. These ones at the front are quarter inch, the ones in the middle are three eight, and the one at the back is a half inch. And that's the one we're going to have a go at today. Um, and so it's nine years since I did one of these, so I might be a little bit rusty. But they're good fun, and uh, they're quite good sellers at, um, you know, fates and stalls and things. So let's get cracking. So I'm going to start off with eight and a half inches, half inch round. To get that warm. Now what I want to do is draw it out to eleven and a quarter inches, which is there, that mark from the end. It shouldn't take me too long. We'll draw it out square as usual. See how far we've got. Not very. So I haven't done one of these for a long, long time. I um, started making loads of them and uh, we sold lots and lots. Then I got fed up doing them. And I say I probably haven't made one for nine, eight or nine years. So I'm a little bit rusty. Using my what is it? It's a kilo hammer. What's that? 2.2 pounds, something like that. We're getting there. Another about half an inch, I reckon. So we can start turning it into round because that's still going to draw it out a little bit. Obviously, this bit's going to be the the shell. Go on to the lighter hammer. Not sure what this hammer weighs actually. So I'm just running down this round and round and round it just to finish that off. I think that'll probably do it. So we're going to get on to the, the other end now. So we're just going to set down about three quarters of an inch and you want to keep it the same width as the material so you can spread it out that way but then narrow it back down to the same width as the material back down to half inch or 12 mil whatever you're using. And you want to go down to about 3 sixteenths, 5 mil thick, something like that that sort of size and dimensions then we're going to split it down the middle the hacksaw. Now I've let this go cold. I didn't quench it because you can often harden that up too much and it knackers your blades. Even though it is only mild steel. Mild steel these days has quite a lot of carbon in it. If you quench it at the wrong temperature it really does go quite hard. So now we're just going to open it up. And then we're going to work on each individual antennae, eye, whatever it actually is. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a combination of both. Eyes on stalks, isn't it? I want to try and work it right the way back to the cut, the end of the cut. Otherwise you end up with a sort of a big bulky bit where the cut starts. So 
just going to draw these out to I don't know I'm not sure how long just so it looks about right in actual fact I think I've probably flattened off a bit too much because these are coming out actually quite long I don't think they really needed to be this long but hey ho you know it is what it is as they say work on these individually but you want to try and keep them both the same obviously again you know keep them square to start with and then when you're somewhere near you can start rounding them off I think we're just about there I'm going to call it a day at that because they are actually pretty long. So now what you can do on these, you can do it on most of the bigger ones, but the smaller ones is a bit tricky. Just put a little centre dot to represent the eye or whatever it is at the end of the antenna. All the sticky out bit. This has gone a bit off centre so I'm trying to square it up but I'm not having much luck and now I've completely buggered it really it's split the side so I'm going to leave it at that so you don't have to do that it just adds a little bit of detail just so if someone picks it up they can see it what it's sort of supposed to represent you can sort of see it there if the camera will focus but it won't because I've got it fixed at focus further over but you get the idea So now we've got to close them up, sort of get them out of the way while we do the next bit. And again, you want to try and close it up right from the middle of the gap, or middle of the split, but it's not going that way for me at the moment. It's left a bit of a wide piece in the centre. Of course, all the time you're trying not to damage them from the shape you've just spent ages trying to get. I'm going to leave it like that for now, I think. That'll do. So I'm going to come back about two inches and put a fold in it. And that'll make the sort of tail end of the body. All these measurements I'm just sort of eyeballing. You could put little marks in. If you're knocking out, you know, a batch of them, it's worth just putting a little mark in them. Put a centre dot or a little chisel mark or something like that. Or even just a chalk mark on your anvil. Just so you get them all pretty similar. You know, not one of them turns out the same as the next one, but if you're doing a batch, you can get them fairly similar. So now you want to squash this right up tight. Again, try and keep the, your antennae things out of the way. Give it a good squash up and then you want to flatten it down. I have been known in the past to just run a little tiny weld where they meet, where that um, join comes together. Because it just stops it sort of going all over the place when you're twisting the, the shell over the body. I haven't bothered on this one but it is something you can do because by the time you've really narrowed this up the join holding it all together is actually quite small down by the, the real sort of end of the tail or whatever it is, the body. So we'll narrow it down to quite a point and then you want to start tapering off the sides so as if you're making like a knife blade hammer the edges down it widens the whole effect and um, 
keeps a bit of bulk in the middle. So you've got a, a bit of body to it, literally. Try and keep it quite pointy. I've not really studied snails, but I think they're quite pointy at the back when they're slithering along. Don't want to make it too perfect because again, you know, it's nature. It isn't perfect, although you know, some things like some of these flowers are pretty damn near perfect. But uh, I like to leave it a little bit on the rough side. Now this is the tricky bit. Trying to bend the shell over the body. Now this vice really isn't holding very well and you want to be careful that you don't sort of damage it. So if you look back at my previous video, the first one I did of these, I had a little three inch I think it is vice actually attached to my anvil which perhaps I should have done this time because it's really not holding very well and because I haven't done one of these for so long I'm sort of forgetting how to do this and it's all going a little bit Pete Tong that also helps if you weld the body to when you're pulling that shell up over the, the body it stops it coming apart so it's quite a good idea to do it's not necessary but I say I haven't done it on this one and it's stayed together but they can sometimes come apart as you pull one over the other now the, obviously the other way to do this which probably is easier do it with the gas um, you've got much more controlled heat where you want it so you can stop bits folding up when you don't want them to but I thought I'd try and do it in the, in, in the fire because not everyone's got gas but uh, just want to show it can be done but I'm making a right pig's ear of it you can see there the bit I'm just you know I'm trying to undo it and it won't I haven't really got the right tools with me at the right time as you can tell probably this this was a rather hasty idea that I was going to do this I hadn't prepared it I just had an hour and thought I know what I'm going to do I'll do another snail and I really should have got the right tools out I need some bigger tongs they're still not quite big enough Let's get it warm again. See what we can do. Well, it's getting there. Very slowly. So now I just want to pull that sort of Z back down, but it's getting there. And now that second coil is too far back, so I've resorted to the the gas. This is going to take me a few minutes because I really haven't got a clue what I'm up to. I've got some bigger tongs they're working much better but I'm still not really getting it where I want it it's funny sometimes these go really well and it just goes right first time other times I've, I've slung some of these at this stage in the bin um, because it just wasn't happening and I'm trying to resist slinging this one I want to try and get it right I don't want to start the demo again. You 
can see what I mean by using the gas you can really get the heat where you need it you can sort of push and pull and squeeze and twist and that's got it a bit better it's still not brilliant and we'll undo one and do the other one up I think I'm gonna call it a day at that I've had enough I can't quite get that right I'm just gonna bring that head up a little bit and bugger it it'll do at the end of the day you can see what it's supposed to be it's a re only a representation you know this isn't going to be some anatomically correct snail and I'm just trying to put a bit of shape in the body there um, and again if I'd welded it it would have stopped it coming apart it's coming apart so or I could have you can see there it's coming apart I could have twisted the body the other way over to the right instead of the left or the left instead of the right but hey ho you live and learn you know it's it's just a bit of fun at the end of the day I'll try and get those huge antennae looking about the same can't quite get it sitting level it's rocking a bit for some reason don't quite know why it's still got a little rock on it there let's have a look underneath I think as I remember when they rocked like that I just ran the base over my bench grinder you know over the belt grinder but there you go I'm gonna call it a day at that I'm gonna give it a wire brush and let you have a little look so there you go huge antennae squiggly coil shell big fat back body but there you go, you've got an idea of what it should be. I think anyone that saw that would think, hmm, that's a snail. I don't think they're going to mistake it for anything else. My representation. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. If I can think of something to do.